welcome everybody to a very precariously stacked December unboxing. <laughs> Normally like I'm real good about stacking everything up in size order so it's stable but this is it, it's a hot mess I can't lie. It is also a little bit of a chunky one so we have quite a bit to get through today I think. Some of them are just like things that I've received that I've put into this stack just to unbox in this video instead of like in vlog. So to start off with we will as usual go through everything that I'm going to be opening for you guys today. The first thing we have, there she goes, <laughs> on the top here is the December Illumicrate. I am currently a rep for Illumicrate so thank you very much to the Illumicrate team for sending this my way. Illumicrate are a UK based monthly subscription box. Each box contains a sci-fi or fantasy hardback in an exclusive edition as well as a selection of bookish goodies and if you want to get your very own Illumicrate after watching this video you can use my code to do so. My code is Becca5 and that will get you a discount on a three or six month subscription. For the rest of the rep packages I guess I am also a rep for both the monthly adult fairy loot subscription. Everything's everywhere now. And also the monthly YA box. So Fairy Loot are also a UK based subscription box company. They have two monthly subscriptions. One is an adult fantasy book only subscription and one is a YA subscription that has a selection of bookish goodies as well. Both of these are brand new hardbacks in exclusive editions. Thank you to Fairy Loot for sending these my way. Also from Fairy Loot we have the Red Rising Iron Editions which I am very very excited to see. I did pay for these myself. I also have the December Lodge Library. This one is HarperCollins sci-fi and fantasy subscription. So happy to see that they have finally stopped double boxing them and are now just sending them in the pink box. And this one is once again a monthly book only subscription. I do also have the December Goldsboro book. This is one of my most anticipated releases of 2024. I do know that it is the same book as the Adult Fairy Lou, but it is so anticipated that I actually want two editions of this. I have a Watersons parcel and technically I do have two, but I think I accidentally pre-ordered this twice which is fine because I'm actually going to go to Waterstones this afternoon and return one of these um, but this is one of my anticipated releases of 2023. And then the last thing that I have is a miscellaneous item that I believe is off my Amazon wish list. So where do we even start here? I am going to start actually with the Waterstones one. This one I actually kind of wanted to read this before the end of the video and it just ain't happening but this one is Heartstopper Volume 5 by Alice Oseman. So this one is a webcomic that is bound up into physical editions. Does, well I know that somebody knows and I can look it up myself and I will before you respond in the comments but I can't remember whether this one is the final one or whether Volume 6 is going to be the final installment in this series but it is just a very wholesome contemporary YA romance about two boys who are kind of exploring their sexuality. One of them is gay and it's out. One of them is bisexual and is just kind of realizing this and they kind of form a friendship which blossoms into a romance. There is content warnings in here for things like suicide, self-harm, um, disordered eating and that kind of thing but generally this is like a, a wholesome like feel-good heartwarming kind of story that I really love. So just to make sure I'm pretty sure that this is also hard to avoid by. It is which as I said is not a problem because I'm going to Waterstones today so I can return one of those. I don't know how I keep doing this, how I keep accidentally pre-ordering things twice because normally if I go on to place a bunch of pre-orders on Waterstones I am really good about checking first whether I've already got it on order. <laughs> Next up we'll do the Amazon gift. Thank you very very much to whoever it is that sent this one my way. This one oh is Sharp Ends by Joe Abercrombie. That is the catch-up book club book for I think it's January and February that one. Oh this one's from Lamia. Thank you so much. Lamy is one of my patrons. It says Merry Christmas my love. Hope you have an amazing time. Thank you so much. So this one is, if you're reading the entire First Law universe, this one is book seven I think and it is a collection of short stories. I like this edition like it's very floppy and it's also like a nice matte one and it's also short as well which is great. This one is under 400 pages which considering the length of some of the others and how I haven't loved some of the books in the First Law universe this one is going to be refreshing. Saying that I don't like short stories so we'll see how that plays out. Okay on to the sub boxes. We'll start with the locked library. I'm not sure if I remember what this one is. I haven't been liking 
locked library all that much recently which i feel like more and more i'm, I'm saying in these unboxing videos that i'm not super excited about the book picks themselves i do still really like the additions so we'll see what this one is it just has too much ya in the subscription I, yeah i remember if I'd have known that this was this book before the like start of December, I would have skipped this. It is a really nice edition though. I just don't want to read it. So. <laughs> this one is A River of Golden Bones by A.K. Mulford. This is, I'm assuming it's going to be a queer fantasy romance because that is what I have read from this author before. Now I have actually interviewed this author on my channel and like no tea, they are like a lovely, lovely person. But the books that I've read, I've read The High Mountain Court and I actually DNF the sequel. They're just very, very action packed, which is not what I like. Like it's very fast paced, very action. And I didn't have a good time. So they're not an author that I want to read from again because the type of stories they write are not the type of stories that I enjoy. I will overlay the original cover over the top of this so that you guys can see the difference. I really forgot that this was the book. It has a stenciled edge. Oh, a really nice foil and it is a stunning edition. I don't even know if I'm gonna try this or whether I'm just going to unhaul this. I really do wish I'd had the opportunity to skip this one though. Um, it is an adult one technically. It is published by Voyager. Although if it is, like obviously I don't know if it is in the same lines as High Mountain Court, but if so, it's more like new adult. And by new adult, I mean it has a very like YA fantasy storyline, but with like more a little bit more explicit content. But the synopsis of this one says, a sleeping curse, a fallen court, a secret twin. Twins Kala and Briar have spent their entire lives hiding from the powerful sorcerers who destroyed their kingdom and from the humans who don't know that they are wolves. Each twin has their own purpose in life. Briar's is to marry the prince of an ally pack and save the golden court. Kala's purpose is to remain a secret, a secret. Kala's purpose is to remain a secret, her twin's shadow, the backup plan. No one knows who Kala truly is except for her childhood friend and sister's betrothed, the distractingly handsome Prince Grey. But when Kala and Briar journey out of hiding for Briar's wedding, all of their well-made plans go awry. The evil sorceress is back with another sleeping curse for the last heir to the Golden Court. Kala must step out of the shadows to save her sister, her kingdom, and her own legacy. Continuing to hide as a human and denying who she truly is, Kala embarks on a quest across the realm, discovering a whole world she never knew existed. Outside the confines of rigid wolf society, Kala begins to wonder who could she be if she dared to try. Full of adventure, love, gender exploration, and self-discovery, a river of golden bones follows Kala's journey through treacherous wolf kingdoms, monster hill realms, and the depths of her own heart in this thrilling romantic fantasy. I... I don't like wolf shift design. <laughs> I mean... Is this a bad pick for a locked library? I can't really say because I'm definitely biased having read this author before and like the books that I read are not bad. They're just very much not things that I enjoy. I don't know. I can't say whether this is generally a good pick, but I don't think I'm going to enjoy it, unfortunately. So next up, I guess to kind of flip the, the entire tone of this video, we will go with the Goldsboro because I know that this is a book that I am very highly anticipating and we can then, after we've done the Goldsboro, go straight into the Fairy Loot and kind of like compare the editions. This one is Sarah El Arifi's new release. It is actually only released in January, but for some reason the subscription box has got it a little bit early and I'm not mad about it. Sarah El Arifi is the author of The Final Strife, which is one of the best starts to a fantasy series I've read in a long time and the sequel actually held up. I'm very much anticipating the third book in this series. So when I found out that Sarah El Arifi was writing a new book, was releasing a new book that is about Faye, I was like sign me up. This edition as well is very very pretty. It is essentially the same as the standard cover but it's purple and I love the colour of this one. It also has the like themes from the cover, art from the cover, printed along the edge. Goldsboro give you, oh my god, it also has full colour map end pages. And oh, this is stunning. I am so glad I did not skip Goldsboro and I opted for two copies of this book. The draw with the Goldsboro Science Fiction and Fantasy subscription is that all of the books are signed and numbered first editions. This one is number 1618 out of 2000. I'm so excited. How long is this one? 372 pages. I know that Sarah Ellerifi can do a lot with like 400 pages. Normally with a fantasy, I'd be a little bit concerned if it was that short, but I have faith. So a brief synopsis of this one based on what I already 
already know about it. It is about two sisters. One is a warrior, one is a diviner, and they are exiled from their lands. I'm pretty sure that their lands are the elven lands, and when they are sent out into the wilderness, they stumble across the Fae Court. I'm really excited about this because it's Sarah Elarifi, but also the fact that it has both the elves and the Fae in it, because typically stories like tend to have one or the other, so I'm interested to see like what dynamic we're going for. I feel like they're going to be enemies, but I'm very excited to dive into this one. If I had time, I would read this immediately. Okay, so for the adult fairy loot, which we know is the same book, Goldsboro released like what the edition looks like ahead of time. Fairy loot don't, so I'm especially excited about this one because I have no idea what to expect. The theme for this month is Eclipse. We also have a letter from the author on the back of this art card. It's blue. What's the original? I did show you the original cover, right? I'm pretty sure the original's red. This one is blue and it goes this way. Oh, this? Let me look at the other one. It is slightly different, like very, very slightly different aside from like the color change. It's like, oh my God, it's like a, a day version, right? Cause this one's like night and this one has the sun. This is like a day version. We have a like celestial sprayed laser printed edge on this one. Ooh, signed end pages that also have the art from the letter from the author in them. And then the back one is different. Is this the other sister? I think it might be. And we also have under dust jacket art. <gasps> Oh, and foiling. I'm so excited. Oh, this one's a reverse dust jacket with character art on. I think I prefer this one just because we know I don't love people on the cover of books unless it's like contemporary romance. And then we have the foiled hardcover which has the sun on one side and the moon on the other. So in terms of the additions, I think that I do prefer the Goldsboro one. I prefer the colorway on Goldsboro. I don't know which foiling I prefer either. Maybe the Goldsboro, but I do really, really like both of them, but I definitely prefer the purple to the blue. Next up we will move into the YA fairy loo. I feel like I did know what the book was for this month but I no longer remember. I'm gonna dig through for a second until I find the spoiler card. So the theme for this month is artifacts of power so I'm not sure I do actually know what book this is. I will hold the spoilers here though if you guys would like to pause and take a look at what's included. I'm going to be going in blind and the first thing we have looks like a bag is it a laptop bag? That could be quite handy actually. Blackcliff Academy, that's an ember in the ashes, right? This is actually, according to the label, it is a travel case. So I think it's more like a packing cube, which could come in handy. I do travel a lot. I don't typically use packing cube, but I believe that they are like the biggest life hack that you can use when traveling. So I may as well give this one a try on my next trip. It does have some like pockets. This might actually be really good for my toiletries instead and like hair stuff, my straighteners and stuff, instead of throwing them all, or like trying to tuck them all into the zip round part of my case. So yeah, this one actually I think is going to come in very handy for me. Next up we have a Howl's Moving Castle tea light holder. I am a big fan of Howl's Moving Castle, especially the book. Not a big fan of tea lights though, they die too quickly. Is this, oh my God, is this one of the one that spins? It is. Oh my God, it's got Carl Summer on it. This is so cute. Okay, I've never had one of these before, so I really don't know how they go together. That definitely goes on there. I cannot get this into here. Oh, there we go. I do feel like that was supposed to go the other way though. Why did I choose to assemble this during the video? This is intricate. I do not have the eyesight for this guys. I can't even lie. Not in today's light where like the sun has barely even bothered to rise today. Okay, last one. Did we do it? I think I did it. Here we go. This is the Howl's Moving Castle tea light holder. And then obviously the heat from the tea light makes it spin. I really like this. This is quite cool. This one is a scarf inspired by What the River Knows by is it Isabella Banias. I think that was one of my book of the month picks recently. Very pretty box. Oh, it's like a, a silky scarf. It's very, very pretty. Go this way, technically? I think so. I don't feel like I'm gonna have the most use for this myself, but I do think that it is a very, very pretty design. I do really like the design and also the presentation. And then is this the final item? 
yes we have more bookends from fairy lou i feel like we had some of these not very long ago at all we had the giddy and the ninth ones i can't remember how long ago that was now these ones are inspired by legend born by tracy dion i do feel like i am currently at the point where i have a lot of bookends and legend born ain't my fave in terms of books but i do really really like the design on these ones so aside from the regular items you also get two tarot cards in every fairy loot and the idea is that when you have like so many fairy loots you'll end up with a full deck of tarot these two are inspired by fourth wing we have zayden and is it violet is the name of the main character it's been a few months guys and i haven't read i am flame yet but these are the seven and eight of moons and then finally our book of the month i really like the items this month actually but the book let's see what the book is it is which way does it go this way oh is it it is it's what the river knows how should i not know that this was going to be a thing okay so i do already have this from book of the month i think from november so i wonder if it was released a little bit later in the uk i will overlay the original cover over the top in case you guys would like to check it out this is definitely an exclusive fairy loot cover and it is very very pretty i really like the design on here it also has a stenciled edge we have foiled end pages oh i just realized that that's her head Hair, that's really pretty we have foiling on the naked hardcover as well and also under dust jacket art so the synopsis of this one it's following a girl in the 18th 19th century 19th century she's from buenos aires and her mother and father i think are killed so she travels to cairo with her parents assistant to try and figure out what happened to them i am excited for this one it's the reason why i chose it as one of my book of the month picks because it's a historical fantasy in a part of the world that i don't read a ton of books from and that is kind of like my favorite vibe when it comes to historical fantasy so i am very excited to give this a go i do have too many copies of this book now but i do really really like the fairy loot edition i think that this is very very pretty so so down in the comments let me know what your favorite item from this fairy loot box is i think for me it is definitely this because this is super cute i'm gonna have to crack my tea lights out i don't really use them anymore but i feel like i'll make an exception for this also there's a sweetie as well and then the last thing that we have from fairy loot are the red rising iron editions i am so excited about these just because they're red rising and i will take any red rising special edition that i can get my hands on i did say in my i think it was my book haul that i do prefer the original fairy loot editions of red rising that they did in terms of like the cover design but i'm just a simp for red rising so like i will have every special edition thank you very much and i'm very excited to see the end papers on here because i'm assuming that they are going to have some character art and red rising character art there is some out there but i can always do with more i will never say no to more this is now as i'm sure you all know my favorite series of all time oh i forgot about the spread edge on the ears yeah the spread edge is very very pretty the reason why they're making iron editions is now they can offer more customization so i feel like design wise i do prefer the originals but the level of customization on these is obviously like a little bit more so we have red rising they look better in person i think than they did in the digital mock-up as well we have like solar system edges on these i'm assuming are these going to the, be the planets in which the series takes place that are or like the book takes place on each spine on each edge that would be really cool oh it's my boy i am obsessed oh my god oh my god we also have okay so we have the characters foiled on the covers and like planets on the back i would have liked to see reverse dust cover art in this but like i mean we have illustrated end pages it's just the more art the better in my opinion my favorite book of the entire series maybe tied with lightbringer is golden sun on this one we have some more planets than the first we have mustang oh my god i can't i can't and we have mustang on the front of this one as well with this design on the back so morningstar has to be severa right that's our only option i really like the blue of morningstar here's the edge on this one and we do indeed have severo and victra in the back as well these have made my day and then under the dust jacket is my boy severo i need to see a cassius one in the later books like it has to be done 
it has to be. So these are now added to my most prized possessions. Like any addition of Red Rising is gonna be like my new baby. Farley did a really good job on those, I think. I do still like the, the naked hardcover design of the first trilogy, but those are also really, really stunning. So our final box that we're gonna be opening is the December Illumicrate. Thank you very much to Illumicrate for sending this one my way. The theme is in the stars. I will hold this here if you wanna pause and read the spoilers. So the first item we have in here is something inspired by Addy LaRue. Oh, it's a TBR jar. This would have been great if I had filmed my TBR after this instead of before because I need somewhere to transfer all of my inner circle like slips of paper into because I just don't I did the silver flow in the one that I have I need something a little bit bigger oh I love this it's clear which is cool and also it has a little thing in it so that you can like pop your slips of paper through I really like that we have a fabric item maybe a it's not a cushion cover is this a microfiber cloth I've had a microfiber cloth from a box before and i was a big fan this one is a tea towel not a microfiber cloth it's kind of like a bit flimsy for a tea towel but also more absorbent than like the printed ones that you normally tend to get and this one is inspired by light from uncommon stars i do like the design i think the design's pretty funky we have a desk planner i got a desk planner somewhere like the middle towards the end of last year changed my life like i am so much more productive i forget less things when i have a desk planner this one is pretty similar to the one that i have in terms of like the space that it provides on it mine's a little bit bigger but this will definitely come in handy when mine runs out because the company that i got mine from don't make printed items anymore they only do digital so i'm real happy with this we also have the 2024 illumicrate calendar i'm really happy that they've gone back to a hanging one instead of the last one i think was like a stand a pop-up stand and i like to hang my calendar on the wall so oh i'm not going Going to be able to guess what these are because they're actually locations instead of characters but i really like that so this one is from the lunar chronicles this one is from she who became the sun oh this one's under the whispering door which is what i'm currently reading this is the jasmine throne this one is from song like silver flame like night this woven kingdom priory of the orange tree the adventures of amina al sarafi light from uncommon stars which i'm more and more i feel like this is the december book the stardust thief so this is ever after which i don't think i know what that is and finally daughter of the moon goddess okay i was wrong about that but that's not the book that i thought what book was it light from uncommon stars not the book of the month it is a sci-fi though and it does have as far as i can tell a pretty like a completely reworked cover and this one is the principle of moments by esme jikimi pearson i've buried my phone under stuff so i cannot look up the original cover of this but i will overlay it over the top for you guys to check out we have a stenciled edge here we also have custom end papers we have foiling under the dust jacket it is signed and the end pages on the back are also different so i have not heard of this book so i'm gonna have to read y'all a synopsis but oh this is interesting it's set in 6066 and 1812 so time travel potentially but it says 6066 <laughs> That's hard to say. In Emperor Thresin's brave new galaxy, humans are not citizens, but indentured laborers working to repay the debt they unwittingly occurred when they settled on Garan, a desert planet already owned by the Emperor himself. Asha Akindeli knows that she's just another voiceless cog working the assembly lines that fuel his vast imperial war machine. Her only rebellion, studying stolen aeronautics manuals in the dead of night. But then a cloaked stranger arrives to deliver an impossible message and her life changes in an instant. 1812. Obi Armadi is done with time traveling. Never mind the fact he doesn't know how to cure himself of the temporal sickness he caught whilst anchoring his soul to Regency London, the one that unmakes him further with every jump, or if the prince he loves will ever love him back, or why his father disappeared. He is done until he hears about the ghost of a girl in the British Museum. 
a girl from another time. When Obi's path tangles with Asha's and a prophecy awakens in the cold darkness of space, they must voyage through the stars racing against time, tyranny and the legacy of three heroes from an ancient religion who may be awakening reincarnated in ways beyond, beyond comprehension. This sounds really good. It says a love letter to black readers of science fantasy. The principle of moments is a symphonic century spanning adventure, unmissable for fans of the spacefaring phone family of Becky Chambers, which I am, the alternate London of V. E. Schwab, and the virtuosic climate climate craft of N.K. Jemison. I'm sold. Like that sounds really good. Whether it's if it is done well that's going to be amazing but it's a lot of like elements that I feel like are tricky to do well is potentially the issue here. So that brings us to the end of this unboxing. Let me know down in the comments what your favourite item from that Illumicrate box is. Mine is definitely the TBR jar and I'm going to put this to use immediately. But in terms of our additions today let's have a little look at the stack. I'm going to leave our stopper and sharp ends out of it so we can just see like the special editions. But these is my haul i have filmed this in december as well so that these books don't contribute towards the books i've hauled in 2024 if you don't know why that's an issue then check out my 2024 tbr that has some of my goals for the year at the beginning and as always i will flip it around so we can also see the pages i am going to be biased obviously my favorite books that we have here are the fairy loot iron editions of red rising because what else would they be but if i were to not be biased if i were to take them out of the equation my favorite book that i have here is the goldsboro edition of Feybound by sarah ella reefy but that does bring us to the end of this video so a massive thank you to illumicrate and fairy loot for providing boxes that contributed towards this video down in my description box you will find link to all of the boxes that I have opened for you guys today. There will be their websites, their social media and any discount codes I have down there for you guys to check out if you wish. And aside from that guys, please do not forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. If you head into my description you will also find a link to my Goodreads Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as link to my bookish candle website, the Etsy for that and a 10% off discount code. But that's it from me today guys. Bye! Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate You say you're a go Where nobody knows With guns hidden under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no We're never gonna quit it, no